Smithfield Foods is temporarily closing two more meat processing factories, including Patrick Cudahy. The announcement comes less than 24 hours after a Fox 6 investigation exposed growing concerns about COVID-19 and an outbreak happening at that facility. Fox 6 investigator Brian Polson with an alarming new information we're hearing tonight from the Cudahy Health Department. The Cudahy Health Department says there are now 28 positive cases tied to the Patrick Cudahy plant here, and that's a big jump from nine last week, and that's what prompted Smithfield Foods to announce the closure of the plant. We had to thank you guys for uh, for that. Until now, Walter Guerin says it seemed like no one was listening. They trying to really hide the number. One day after a Fox 6 investigation exposed workers' fears of a COVID-19 outbreak here, Patrick Cudahy's parent company, Smithfield Foods, announced a two-week closure to disinfect the plant. I think it was a, a, a good decision on their part. Um, there was a lot of, you know, information coming from employees. Um, they were getting it. I was getting, you know, contacted by, you know, employees. In a press release Wednesday, Smithfield Food says a small number of employees tested positive, and a company spokesman declined to say exactly how many. But the Cudahy Health Department says confirmed cases jumped from nine last Wednesday to 28 this Wednesday. We are happy. We, we're happy that they are doing the responsible thing for the workers and the community itself. It's just easier that they took the action and that we didn't have to come in behind and go, hey, you know, you need to shut down your plans. Smithfield President Kenneth Sullivan says when they resume operations in two weeks, workers should not come to work sick. He assured them they will continue to be paid. Smithfield Foods says it will close the plant sometime later this week, and when they reopen two weeks after that, they say employees will have personal protective equipment waiting for them. In Cudahy, Brian Polson, Fox 6 Investigators.